Hello everyone, it's Miss LaRose. I have two videos for this project. This is the first video. It requires adult help or supervision. We're going to be turning a milk jug into an elephant sculpture. And in order to cut the milk jug, we're going to need to first draw on some guidelines. The guidelines are going to show that the handle of the milk jug is the trunk of the elephant. Then there's a gap below the handle that represents the gap between the two front legs. If you turn the milk jug around to the back, you'll have two back legs. And in between those two back legs will be a space for the tail. And then there are also two gaps between the front and back legs. To start cutting this, you're going to need an X-Acto knife. Later you will use scissors. The X-Acto knife is just to remove the piece of plastic that is around the handle. The handle has thicker, more curved plastic, and in that area it can be a little hard to cut it out with scissors, so I'm using an X-Acto knife to do that. If you have a box knife or a craft knife or some kind of utility knife, you can use that as well. I recommend that an adult does this step. I do know that there are some students who have used tools like this for other projects. If you are an adult and you trust your child to cut with an X-Acto craft knife, then please still supervise them, of course, but I am fine with you making that decision if you believe that it is safe enough. While you are cutting with the craft knife, please work slowly and carefully because the plastic is curved and thicker, especially near the handle. It can be difficult to put the knife through it, and the slower you go, the safer it's going to be. Now, when you cut on the straight part of the milk carton, it's going to be a little bit easier, but I don't want you to speed up. I want you to keep going slow. Just because it's not as difficult to put the knife through doesn't mean that we can speed up. It's just going to make it less safe. So I'm just taking the craft knife and making little punched holes before I cut over that crease again so that it will slide through there a little bit more evenly. And I'm not going to go all the way through until I have all of my cuts made. That way it's not going to become too unsturdy. When I cut out the handle, I start towards the most difficult point and work my way towards the easiest part. So the most difficult point is right behind the handle and then I work my way towards the front. And I'm going to go back around to the back and work my way towards the front. And again, going very, very slowly. I'm not trying to speed this up because I want you to really take your time with this. I'm all about you being safe. I have the handle free and you can see that my piece here is still attached. I'm going to go back through, make my extra cuts to free up this space. At this point, if you can peel out most of that part, you can switch to the scissors. I still use the X-Acto knife to make these final cuts to get this full piece out of the milk jug. After this piece is out though, we are going to switch to using scissors. This piece is still recyclable, it's still part of the milk jug, so please put it in your recycling if you have a recycling bin. Now we're just going to use scissors to cut out the remainder of the pattern. First, I'm going to go all the way around and cut off the bottom. If you have the bottom cut off and it doesn't have any holes in it, you can use this later in the second step if you need to as a container for mixing a glue solution so that we can glue paper to the surface of the milk jug to decorate it. So I'm setting that aside to save it because it's a good container to use for holding supplies or mixing my glue solution. 
Now, some milk cartons have this indent on the side. If you are going to be cutting around that, I recommend first cutting in from the bottom on both sides and then working to cut across the top there because that does warp the milk carton a little bit if it has that indent and it can be a little bit more difficult to cut that piece out. I had one milk carton with the indent and one without. It's easier to cut it without. As you cut pieces out of this, I want you to keep making sure that it can still stand up. And please, if you have to bend the plastic to make it stand, bend it as needed. For the tail, I'm bending it upward and twisting it so that it curves up a little bit. It looks more like a tail. I recommend doing that as well because we are going to be attaching little tufts to the bottom of the tail and that's going to make it look more like it's got fur on the end and if it's not curled up it's going to cause the elephant to not stand properly. So now I've cut all those pieces out. I'm going to put those scraps in my recycling except for that bottom piece which I'm going to keep. There are my two milk jugs next to each other. That's it, we're done. Time for part two.